Welcome to the Polk Transportation Planning Organization's Community Forum on Trails. We're here today in, in Dundee to, to highlight one of the, the uh, trail projects that's under construction right now by the Florida Department of Transportation in the town of Dundee. Uh, just off behind me, you can see the trail where it's under construction going along State Road 17 Scenic Highway. This is a trail that extends from East Central Park in the uh, Dundee Ridge Middle School and it connects down to the lake right behind me here, Lake Marie, and the existing tra trail that's uh, behind the lake and extends on into downtown Dundee from there. And this trail is only a few miles long, but it's a really important trail and it's part of the regional trail network that we have in Polk County that plan extend all the way down State Road 17 down towards Frostproof and link up with other trails in Haines City and Winter Haven and, and, and so on. And Polk County has uh, upwards of 400 miles of trails altogether. You know, and these are hiking trails, uh, canoe trails, bike trails, uh, multi-use trails like the one here in Dundee. And 400 miles worth of trails, we have probably a little over 100 miles of paved multi-use trails. And again, these are all planned to uh, connect and extend uh, from park to park and through natural areas like Circle B Bar Reserve, the Lake Wheels Ridge State Forest, as well as to connect to a lot of our downtown areas in Polk County, like the trails you see in Winter Haven and Lakeland. And, and after I'm done introducing uh, the forum, you're gonna hear from some, uh, some of the trail experts in Lakeland and Winter Haven at the county talking about some of the trail projects that they have. So again, uh, welcome to the TPO's Trail Forum. And this isn't just a forum that where you're gonna hear us uh, talking to you about what our plans are. A uh, big part of today's forum is for us to hear from you, the, the trail user. And we, we've already asked and we have some things to show where, where you've responded to us, you've shot some videos, you've taken some pictures uh, where you're gonna explain to us where your favorite trails are. And also too, we wanna hear from you on maybe where there's not a trail today, but what, where's an important place that we should consider uh, planning for a trail in the future, much like what we're doing out here, uh, constructing this trail in Dundee. So at any rate, uh, welcome to the Trails Forum. And again, we look forward to hearing from you and enjoy the show. Thank you. I love the Marsh Rabbit Run Trail at Circle B. I love this trail because throughout the seasons I get to see nature in its purest form. From the migrating birds in the winter to the alligator bellowing in the spring, it is truly incredible to see how Florida nature changes throughout the seasons. You can truly experience it all on Marsh Rabbit Run. It's the one place where all my worries in the world go away and I can see all of nature's creations in one place. My favorite trail is the one around Lake Collingsworth. Constant motion with new ducklings and other birds, beautiful sunrises, and friendly people. Good afternoon, I'm Tabitha Beal with Polk County Parks and Natural Resources Division. And today we're at the Panther Point Trail on the shore of Lake Hancock. This is one of our newest trails in our parks division. And it's a very long trail, it's one of our longer trails. It's about eight miles, which connects to the Marshall Hampton Reserve down to the Fort Fraser Trail. Then you have the option to jump on the Fort Fraser Trail and hike about five more miles up to Circle B Bar Reserve to enjoy Circle B Bar's nature reserve trails as well. The Panther Point Trail is a part of a network of trail systems around Lake Hancock that is a concept we call a hub and spoke. So it has one large loop trail that goes all the way around Lake Hancock, which is the plan for the future, that will connect to other regional trails that will take you to Lakeland Highlands or over to Winter Haven or down to Bartow and along the Peace River. So some great trail hiking tips is if you want to come out and enjoy these sites, make sure you bring with you some water sun protection, sunscreen, maybe some insect repellent, but most important, grab a trail map and make a plan of your trail before you go out. For instance, this trail is eight miles in one direction. So when you reach the end of that eight miles, the only way to return to your car is to come back that eight miles. So planning ahead is an important part of going out on our trail system. Polk County has many trails to offer, and while this trail is one of our longest, if you're looking for something shorter, you might want to visit a site like Lake Wynn in Juanita, which is a short, less than one mile loop trail. If you're on the eastern side of the county, you might check out Crooked Lake Prairie or Samica, which are different environmental land sites that allow you to go do a lot of wildlife watching on some pretty unique lands. And if you're on the western side of Polk County, 
visit Lakeland Highlands Scrub or the Alafia River Reserve. And if you're in North Lakeland, there's the Gated Creek Reserve, Colt Creek. There's a lot of options for trails in Polk County. So check them out and hope to see you out there soon. I love the General James A. Van Fleet State Trail in Polk City, Polk County, Florida. This trail was named after General James A. Van Fleet, who was a distinguished combat commander in both World Wars and the Korean War. It runs from Polk City and passes through Bay Lake and crosses Lake Polk and Sumter counties. You can see many animals, both domesticated livestock and wild, along the way or adjacent to the trail. Animals such as horses, cows, wild turkeys, deer, llama, birds, and owls. In addition, there are also many different types of plant life and trees to look at. It's a fun way to get some fresh air and exercise, as well as to enjoy and appreciate some of the natural gifts the state of Florida has to offer its residents and guests. This trail is in Circle B Bar Reserve. I really enjoy going down it because when I was younger, my grandparents used to take my sister and I to it. Now that I'm older, I go with my cousins when they come to visit during Thanksgiving. This trail holds memories and I love seeing the wildlife and everything this trail has to offer. I'm Chuck Barnby. I'm with the City of Lakeland's Community and Economic Development Department. Uh, where we're standing here at Glendale and New Jersey is really kind of the hub of our Lake to Lake bikeway system here in South Lakeland. Um, to, the, uh, to the east, about a half mile, is going to be the Fort Fraser Trail Extension, which is scheduled for construction in 2024. To the west, about a mile, is Lake Hollingsworth, and that's really our most popular trail system in the entire city and, and, and the county. And to the south is Three Parks Trail, um, which continues to Peterson Park and ultimately south on Cleveland Heights Boulevard. Um, this portion of the trail is still under construction, um, scheduled for completion in November of, of 21. Um, and then we're very much looking forward to the final piece of the puzzle, Three Parks Trail West, which connects uh, where we're standing now to the Lakeland YMCA and Dogleg Woods Park. That's scheduled for construction in 2022. Um, so what we're trying to do with the city is not only connect um, our residential areas with our business areas downtown, um, we're also trying to create loops for folks to go out for leisurely walks or bike rides uh, in the morning or afternoon. And so, uh, you know, we're trying to improve connectivity is really the ultimate goal and provide safe connections for people that want travel options to get around town. My favorite trails are at the McKay Gardens and Lakeside Preserve in Lake Alford. We have three miles of nature trails for folks to enjoy on this 125 acre preserve. My favorite Polk County Trail is Alligator Alley in the Circle B Bar Reserve. You can walk there every day and see something different from bald eagle to cottonmouth snakes. Every time you go to Circle B, it's a different adventure. It's not just about wildlife at Circle B either. There's a lot of different plant life. You can learn so much from just walking the trails at Circle B. My name is uh, Philip Scarce. I'm a planner with the city of Lakeland and I use the Three Parks Trail to commute to work. Uh, it's a great asset to the city. I can safely jump on the trail uh, at Peterson Park. It's great to have a dedicated bike facility that I can get to on Peterson Park and uh, take to downtown Lakeland where I work. Um, I've definitely noticed um, a lot of uh, safety enhancements uh, throughout the years since I've moved here in Polk County in the mid 90s. Uh, the county and the city together have done uh, great uh, work uh, coordinating uh, the bike trails and the bike facilities whenever there's uh, new roads or uh, pavement widenings, they are always thinking forward about how can we make uh, cycling and pedestrian safety better with these projects. So I'm, I'm uh, very excited to, uh, to use the trails when I cycle into work.
The trail around Lake Blue is great because of sunsets like this. My family loved the Circle B Bar Reserve. We were able to see alligators in their very own habitat, along with birds and insects that we never saw before. It is a good place to disconnect the kids from electronics and learn about our state. I'm at the Lakeland Highland Scrub. So this one I just like because it's different than the other ones for sure. It seems like anyway with the uh, nature and I'm looking for scrub jays, but maybe they don't come out when the sun is going down. <laughs> Welcome to Winter Haven. We'd like to welcome everybody to Winter Haven. We're standing here on the Chain of Lakes Trail, which connects downtown Winter Haven to Lake Alfred. Uh, the Chain of Lakes Trail was developed in 2007, and it has quite a bit of history with it. Uh, this corridor actually was the railroad corridor in the late 1800s, which brought vi the first visitors and residents to Winter Haven to, from Lake Alfred to downtown. And this area that where we're standing now is our Trailhead Park, and it's really the northern portion of our downtown that we're uh, redeveloping. Uh, just to the north, we've redeveloped Martin Luther King Jr. Park, and we're in the last phase of that redevelopment. We have lots of synergy with this area in with our recreation over the years. Recently, we've redeveloped it with our skate park and a, our new amphitheater, and. We have so much synergy in this area. The Chain of Lakes Trail um, has, we have 13 miles of connections that, uh, that connect off of the Chain of Lakes Trail. And we have everything from loop trails within our park systems to long uh, regional trails like the Chain of Lakes Trail, which is 3.6 miles, and then lots of complete street projects. We like to talk about our connections, and that's really what we're about here in Warren Haven, is about connecting our neighborhoods and our downtown and our workplaces and our destinations. And with the pandemic recently, our trail system and our visitors and our residents and the use of our outdoor spaces and our trails have, has only increased. It's really our, our residents' respite. As we continue to uh, have our connections, our South Lake Silver Complete Street Project, which is just to the north of where I'm, we're standing right now, is actually almost completed. And that will actually link First Street back to the Chain of Lakes Trail. We're also getting ready to uh, work on a trail around Lake Elbert, as well as Avenue K, and r really filling in our sidewalk gaps. And we have lots of residents and visitors who actually use our trail system to get to the bus system and use it for transportation. So in Winter Haven, we're really excited about our trail system. We're really excited about how it contributes to our community, the vibrancy of our downtown, and we really hope that our residents and visitors want to come, and we have our commitment to continue those efforts. So come on out to Winter Haven. We have a great history of trails and connectivity and multimodal development, and we're going to only continue that. Circle Bibar Reserve is one of my favorite places to walk, take pictures, and enjoy nature to the fullest. It's a beautiful wildlife preserve, great spot to get away from the city. Circle Bibar Reserve is an amazing sanctuary, always a pleasure to visit. Lois E. Hart Park is home to some of my favorite trails. Whether mountain biking or just hiking along, I have a lot of great memories with friends and family. My husband and I spend a lot of time hiking, riding, and fishing at the park. But on one particular hike, he got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. Those trails bear special significance to us. It's where so many adventures began. So you've heard, uh, you've heard some people talk about some of the, the great trails that we have in the Winter Haven and Lakeland area, the western and central parts of the county, as well as around Circle B Bar Reserve. Well, I'm here now uh, on top of the Lake Wales Ridge, uh, literally on top of it here at uh, Bach Tower Gardens in, in Eastern Polk County. We thought we'd just talk a little about uh, some of the trails that are that are either existing and, and as well as some of the ones that are planned here in Eastern Polk County. And here at Bach Tower, they've got a, a number of trails, uh, hiking trails that, that you can go on. We're on one of them right here called uh, the Pine Ridge Trail. And at nearly uh, 300 foot above sea level, these are some of the best views, I would say, in the peninsula of Florida, not just Polk County, where you can see 20, 25, 30 miles off to my east and about the same distance to the west. And uh, 
it's a great it's great for that again if you uh, if you seek to, uh, some views this is uh, the place to go and and some of the other trails that we have planned i've already touched on the one that we have uh, under construction right now in dundee uh, pretty soon or in a few years, there's gonna, they're going to be extending the trail uh, called the Haines City Trail that goes from downtown Haines City. They're going to be taking that all the way down to County Road 544 uh, and down near the Lake Eva uh, Sports Complex in Haines City. Um, as I said, I touched on the Dundee Trail and here nearby to, to Bach Tower and someday it'll eventually connect up to Bach Tower Gardens is a trail system that uh, we have in Lake Wales. They have the Lake Wales Trail, which is a rail to trail there that goes around Lake Wales, the actual lake. And that's connected, uh, are gonna be connected with some trails that are planned in downtown Lake Wales. And all this is uh, linked along the Lake Wales Ridge along the scenic highway. Um, that's a state designated scenic highway on State Road 17. And as part of the uh, uh, future plans for that scenic highway, they envision uh, trails um, along the scenic highway to connect to places like we have here with Bach Tower Gardens. So those are some of the some of the neat trails that, that we have in Eastern Polk and, and I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up to all, all the hiking trails, not just here at Bach Tower Gardens. Um, there's probably without really even thinking about it easily uh, 50 to 100 miles of hiking trails in the Lake Wales Ridge State Forest, uh, Catfish Creek uh, Preserve, uh, Tiger Creek Preserve is very near here so there's a, a lot of treasures as well as uh, the Crooked Lake of uh, Prairie and Sand Hill and, and Babson Park. There's a number of great trails here in Eastern Polk. So, so again, get out and, and uh, it's great weather today, um, but boy, for the next six months, there's gonna be a lot of great hiking uh, weather. So um, hopefully you'll get out to have some opportunity to get out on a trail very soon. Thank you to everyone who entered our trails and video contest. Here are our grand prize winners. So thanks for joining us on our, uh, what I think exciting uh, trails forum that we had. Uh, you got an opportunity to see some of the, some of the neat trails and hear about the things that we have planned. And again, thank you for joining us on uh, today's trails forum. Uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, as we're wrapping up here, if you haven't had a chance to already provide your comments, uh, you can do so at the, at the end of the forum, either whether on Facebook or on YouTube, you can provide your comments and tell us what you, what you think about trails. Um, in particular, what you, uh, what you think, what, what we might need to work on. Where are some gaps? Where are some, some trails needed that we don't already have? So again, thank you for joining us. Have a great day.